Good morning. Give me just a moment, and we shall be ready to go. A couple buttons I have to press, a couple buttons I have to push. Let's go, let's go. You'll notice I actually have the video set up right this time. Well, howdy ho, it is 2.32 on Sunday the 11th of July 2021. Not normally a time of year we have to worry about severe thunderstorms rolling in at 2 in the morning, but you know what? It's not exactly been a typical year in the weather department across the United States, so let's get at it. Let me be perfectly clear and say while we have plenty of loud thunderstorms moving south into the state this morning, most of them are not severe. The strongest storms capable of producing damaging straight line winds over 60 miles per hour are currently west of Highway 281 and west central Texas. That's going to be south of Childress, south of Vernon, south of Wichita Falls, moving south generally towards Highway 380, Haskell east to Graham. The storms currently further to the east in north Texas, say from near uh, north of... Uh, Oh, head 230 north of Jacksboro, south of Wichita Falls, there on 281, east near Bowie, to coming into the city of Den now, crossing into Collin County from Grayson County, and then farther east in North Texas, uh, Bonham, just north of Paris. Those storms, they are loud and proud. They are producing plenty of cloud to ground lightning, which will undoubtedly wake several of you up this morning. Sorry about that, I'm just the messenger. But they are not producing hail, they are not producing tornadoes, and they're only producing winds of about 40 to 45 miles per hour. To be a severe thunderstorm, the winds need to be at or above 58 miles per hour. So while it may seem windy, it may seem like the world's ending because of all the lightning, most of these storms are your general summertime storms. They are loud, they are proud. It sounds like a fireworks show going off outside, but they are not tornadic. They're not producing big hail, or any hail for that matter. And most of them are producing well sub-severe winds. That being said, we'll go ahead and zoom on in. Let me turn off the radar. We'll turn on the high-res radar. Last time we went from west to east, so just to mix it up, because I love being difficult, we'll go from east to west. You can see we've got plenty of thunderstorms underway currently from near Texar, Canada, New Boston, Clarksville, just north and northwest of Paris. A bit of a small hail core northwest of Paris, northeast of Bonham. Could have some pea-sized hail there. Otherwise, we've got heavy rain, gusty winds, a lot of cloud-to-ground lightning falling from near Bonham. To Anna, Melissa, Salina, Aubrey, Pilot Point, Saner coming into the city of Den now. That outflow boundary seen by that little green line south of Decatur to near Corinth. North side of Louisville Lake coming into Little Elm, uh, Lake Highlands. Uh, just north of Frisco, south of 380, I guess a better way to describe it is it's starting to come up on Jerry World and Frisco. And then in McKinney, those are those strong outflow winds. Rain cooled air could have winds up to 40 miles an hour. A couple minutes before it even starts raining. Farther to the west, we've got strong storms capable of producing some gusty winds, a lot of cloud to ground lightning, and heavy rain. Over Bowie right now, they're moving south at about 30 to 40 miles per hour. Now, as we get into west central and northwest Texas, storms out here are a bit more rowdy this morning, and they do have the potential of producing some damaging straight line winds. You can see the storms over Crow could have winds of 50 to 60 miles an hour. Storms that just came through Archer City showing winds aloft of 60 to 70 miles an hour. And a bit earlier as these storms were on 287, we had a wind gust of 70 miles per hour in Electra at 1.34 a.m., so about an hour ago. And these produced winds of 59 miles an hour in Vernon at 1.40 this morning and a wind gust of 65 miles per hour 
uh, northwest of Goodlett on Highway 287, and that was at 150 this morning. So these storms across northwest Texas are capable of producing winds 50, 60, even 70 miles an hour in some case. You could see just like the storms over DFW, you have that outflow boundary extending out ahead of those storms southwest of Crowd and near Seymour, uh, south of only coming up on Newcastle and Graham. Those are those rain cooled outflow winds. Winds could be quite strong well before the rain arrives so just a heads up with that but further to the east we have storms that are a bit weaker and generally steady state or slowly weakening but still going to be very loud over the next hour across the dfw metroplex as these storms move south and out of curiosity let's take a look at the rain rates over the last hour let me go ahead and set this up one moment please while i play with buttons because who doesn't like playing with buttons you can see over the last hour, rainfall rates estimated by radar generally one half to one inch. These storms, thankfully, are moving quite quickly. So while they're dumping a lot of rain, they're not sitting in one spot for very long. So they're not able to drop more than a quick inch of rain, which still could cause some brief street flooding, but not enough rain to cause significant flash flooding. As these storms continue to move south at 30 to 40 miles an hour, not really something we're used to seeing in July with storms moving at 40 miles an hour. But again, and it's not been a typical year in the weather department across the United States. So that's what we have going on this morning. Generally speaking, we could continue to see some localized damaging straight line winds up to 70 miles per hour with the strongest storms in west central Texas this morning as they move south at about 30 to 40 miles an hour. Storms currently in north Texas coming south into the DFW Metroplex are producing cloud to ground lightning, some brief heavy rainfall that could cause minor street flooding for about an hour after it rains uh, wind gusts 30 to 40 maybe 45 miles an hour and as a reminder it takes winds over 58 miles per hour to be considered a severe storm so these are strong storms they are loud storms they are not going to be the kind of storms that knock well for most of you unless you have a really bad fence they're not going to knock your fences down they're not going to knock your trees down they're not going to knock well your roof off and might try to throw a trampoline next door, but that's just because trampolines are aerodynamic in some cases. And, well, that seems to be the trend of, of late is to throw trampolines somewhere. But it shouldn't be enough to throw a trampoline onto a roof. Probably. I'm sure it'll find a way just to spite me. So that's what we have going on right now. We do not expect widespread severe weather this morning. We don't expect tornadoes. We don't expect big hail and the threat for some localized damaging winds generally with these storms coming up on seymour only not <clears throat> excuse me getting a little rasp to my vo rasp to my voice not with the storms in north texas or northeast texas but they're loud they can be scary they're not producing tornadoes not a lot of big widespread damaging winds this is not a derecho not supercellular in nature. We're not talking about golf ball, baseball, softball, bowling ball, basketball size hail. And we, yeah, we're, we don't have tornadoes. We don't have bird fart tornadoes. We don't have rope tornadoes. We don't have cone tornadoes. We don't have multiple vortex tornadoes. And we don't have wedge tornadoes. Yes, I just went through describing a variety of tornado shapes because it's three in the morning and I can. I haven't gotten to do one of these live streams in the middle of the night for a few weeks now. And <laughs> you knew. You know, I thought I wouldn't get to do them again till this fall. But you know what? Mother Nature wants to be a troll. So with that being said, you can keep an eye on the sky with the interactive weather radar on our website at texasstormchasers.com slash radar. We'll be up keeping an eye on things, obviously, because I have nothing better to do than stay up at 3 in the morning watching thunderstorms. I'm a nerd. It's okay. That's why I'm Baldy in Chief or the Weather Leprechaun for that nickname that emerged this spring when the beard was three times as long so we'll keep an eye on things we'll be back in necessary around 3 30 this morning but otherwise again these storms coming on into the dfw metroplex they are not severe they've got lots of lightning they're producing some brief heavy rain some gusty winds up to 45 miles an hour to be a severe storm you need to have winds over 58 miles an hour same thing goes for northeast texas that being said, I suppose if you are outdoors, you might be camping, enjoying several of our beautiful state parks. Heads up as these storms come on in, the winds may not be considered severe, but uh, they're probably going to be strong enough to make a mockery of your tent if you didn't stake it down well enough. So just keep that in mind if you're out at one of the state parks and getting woken up by thunder or lightning this morning. But 
Otherwise, we'll keep an eye on things, and to those of you who have joined me at the beautiful hour of 2.41 this morning, thank you so much. We don't expect widespread flash flooding, no tornadoes, no big hail. The biggest hail we've heard of in the last hour and a half has been pea-sized hail. That would be Papa Echo Alpha size hail, not the other spelling. And that is a quarter inch, 0.25 inches. To be considered a severe thunderstorm, it needs to be quarter size or larger. That is one inch in diameter or greater. And of course, damaging straight line winds 58 miles per hour or higher. We have had some of those winds in northwest Texas moving into west central Texas and western north Texas. We have not had those high of wind gusts across Texoma, north Texas, or northeast Texas this morning. So we'll keep an eye on things this morning. I'm David Reimer, I forgot my last name, with the Texas Storm Chasers weather radar on our website and our free mobile app, texasstormchasers.com slash radar, or just search for the Texas Storm Chasers app in your phone's store. All right, I'm getting off here because I've been on here long enough and y'all don't need to see Baldy and Chief unless we got real problems and we don't have real problems. Have a good night.